So it's going to be a super fast. How to remove your ML430, uh, you know, grill because mine kind of caught a big gust of wind and broke into million pieces. And I'm going to be removing this so in a future video I can install a built grill, a custom built grill that we're going to be making. So if you're new to the channel, get subscribed. So first thing you want to do is pop your hood. This is done popped and there's a little trigger underneath the Mercedes in case you didn't know how to pop your hood on the ML430 and it opens up just like so. Now to remove this, you want to do your four ways. And if you look, my grill's been busted out before. And the only things holding my grill in is a couple four ways and some wire here. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo the wire and my four ways, then this should actually come out. As for your Mercedes thing, I think it just snaps in. Right, here's the lever. Okay, it just pulls. So we need to figure out how to get this lever off. Did it just pop in? No, that can't be hit, can it? I think it just pulls through. It pulls through. Well, you can take your grill, twist it, and that will pull down. So, my grill's done busted. Oops. My grill's done busted, so. As I said, that just comes down. I got a zip tie, got a zip, got to cut that. But undo your bolts and stuff, don't remove your grill like I did. That's kind of like chaos, you know? But now I can get to my shoes easy with a four way. With everything out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and spin these four ways out and put them up. Cause the grill that I will be using is custom cause I'm making it and I won't be using none of this. I might use a couple, I don't know. It depends on the setup that we make. I like to make it where I can take it in and out because I ever want to paint this thing in the future. But then again, I can weld it and just mask around it. This is what it should look like with the grill out of it. And it's very simple to remove. Now, let me show you the built grill that we'll be installing in another video. Oh! We got some built grill goodness here. Before you ask, no, this is not a direct fit, but take a look at this. It's gonna be easy to make it a direct fit because we can cut it down because we're good like that. We just have to figure out which way it fits best. Okay. Looks simple, I will just need a Sharpie and a welder. And I could drill new holes to mount this, looks like. Okay, this is gonna be simple. Very simple. Video helpful. Be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button, drop a like, leave a comment, and uh, get subscribed because we got this video coming soon. And I know you're excited to see how I make a billet grill fit in a Mercedes.